All right, I'm going to go over a quick TFR class here uh, so everybody can learn how to set up alt channels and stuff like that and as well go as well go over some common errors that are keep popping up. Uh, there's some good uh, links in the guide section that uh, already have guys that have gone over some of the stuff. I'm going to link their um, videos down in the description. Uh, they also go cover a bunch of other stuff, like one of them is a JTAC course, and he goes over radio etiquette and stuff like that, as well as how to use the long range and the short range radios. And he also goes over JTAC stuff. So I'm not going to go over how to install TFAR. There's already a video for that. Uh, it'll be linked down in the description. That was done by our cash lethal. Uh, but here we are on the on my personal server. Like I said, I have a Prick 152 and a RT 1523 long range. The Prick 152 is short range. The RT is long range. The uh, Prick 152 everybody should have. And the long range only leadership should have. But uh, leadership and necessary people. This has about a 5 kilometer radio as you can see. Uh, range but that depends heavily on terrain. This I believe has... Uh, 20 kilometer range uh, but once again it also depends on the terrain of the map so one of the first things that we keep seeing crop it, or I keep seeing crop up is people will say have this right here on the bottom right corner where it says not connected to let me do it this way where it says not connected to team speak so there's a couple of issues there either one you aren't connected to TeamSpeak and you need to get on TeamSpeak. Or two, your TFAR didn't initialize. And generally what that what happens there is uh, you have it disabled or it's just not turning on for whatever reason. If it's not disab if it's disabled, the first thing you need to check well, the first thing you need to check is make sure you have T uh, TeamSpeak on. Second thing you need to check is make sure your TFAR is installed. The third thing you need to check is make sure it's actually on. So let me swap to my desktop so you can see what I mean. All right, here we are on my desktop, and you can see I have TeamSpeak up. I'm in my personal TeamSpeak. Uh, and so you can look right now. It doesn't show any TFAR over here. So go over here. Go to Tools, Options. You'll go to Add-on. And come to uh, TFAR, and as you see right here, it's disabled. So it means it's not initialized. It's not going to work. So you'll turn it on. You should get that little audible thing. And then you'll have the Task Force Radio status pop up here. And it says it's connected to the game. Yes, it's playing. You got the version, uh, the plugin version for the server. The uh, one of them's the server, and one of them's yours. Uh, the plugin's yours. Add-ons the server. So. You, want to check and see if those match so now let's go back to the uh, game footage here all right so now we're going to go over the we'll go over the 152 so here you got the 152 the personal radio for people uh this right here lets you know your current channels it says current freak and you can hover over these different things and i'll tell you what you do what it does right there on the right so you have your current channel your current freak these middle buttons don't really do anything then you have your clear freak, which will just clear it. Your set freak will set uh, a frequency after you put it in. You can use this to swap channels. But I found the easiest way is just on your numpad. Just uh, push the buttons on your numpad and it will go to those channels. So one through whatever will go to the different channels. If you don't have a numpad... For your keyboard, then you either need to set a key bind or you'll have to use this. This lets you switch from uh, speakers to headphones. You always, unless you got a specific reason to be on speakers, you always want to try and run, uh, run in headphones. Speakers generally tend to mess with people when they're trying to transmit and they can hear themselves. This lets you set your additional frequency or additional channel, which I'll go over shortly. And this lets you change your stereo settings, which I'll go over shortly. So to set and so to set an additional channel, uh, let's go to channel two, so I can set an alt channel. You can have two channels. 
really, truthfully, you really don't want to have two channels. But there's a couple ways to change this freak. So you can double click on it. You can click right there and hit backspace. Uh, or you can double click and clear it out. Or you can do, which is generally what I do out of habit, is just hit clear freak. We'll set it at 200. And you'll click right there to set the freak. And you should hear that little click when the uh, audible click will let you know you hit buttons. So now we have 100 on channel one for whatever. And I'm going to make, I'm going to listen to also the channel two or 200 at the same time on channel two. So what you're going to do is set channel two to an all uh, to an additional channel. So click on it. You'll get that a two right there. And then <clears throat> what I generally do is it depends on which one's which. So let's just say this is command channel. You can change your stereo settings and you'll see on the bottom right down here it says it tells you what ear your additional uh, channels in so it's right now it's in left and right right there it's only left only right there is only right only so we're going to say 200 is uh command net so i personally like it on my right side but that's something that you have to figure out yourself so now you have this set to uh your additional channel two on 200 now you, where you're at currently you're only listening to uh to channel 200 so then you swap back to 100 and now you'll hear channel 200 uh you'll also hear channel 200 and 100 and from there you can change the stereo settings down in the bottom push the button right here on down the bottom right you'll see where it's going <coughs> pardon me uh i'm gonna clear my throat but right here you'll have uh, you can swap it around to whatever you want. And so let's say this is squad squad uh, channel I'll put it in left because for me personally, whatever I hear on my right side overrides my left side. So I always want to make sure I hear command. So I always have that in my right ear because I'll hear that over 100 if they're both talking at the same time. It's a skill. It takes a little while to pick up. So that's how you set an additional channel. So you can always go back to channel two and check it and make sure. And then one. And you'll hear both of them at the same time. You'll hear two in your right. The way I have it set up right now, I hear, I'll hear i hear two in my right ear. Left in my uh, uh, left is my uh, 100. So that's the uh, 152. Also up here, I missed that. Uh, you can use this to change your volumes. It goes by tens. It doesn't, you can't go really up or down. It's just every click is down volume until you hit uh, zero, uh, 10, and then the next one will take you to 100. And if you look in the bottom right corner, you can see the volume you have it set at. And that sets the volume for the whole radio. All right, this is the long range. Uh, it functions pretty much the same as the short range. You have your channel, your fr uh, your current freak you're on, your set freak. Uh, you, the buttons are a little bit swapped around, but you can just hover over them and see what they are. Your set freak, your uh, set additional, increase volume, decrease volume. This one gives you the ability to do both. Stereo settings, so left only you know, lets you do your left or right or both. Um, you can swap speakers on and off, but you generally want to try to run headphones. And then your clear freak is right there. So it's same basic step. So we'll say 30 is the channel we want to uh, monitor on channel one. And then we'll press, we'll go to channel two for this. You can actually use the buttons right here. Go to channel two. We'll say 70 is what we want to monitor on uh, as our additional. So I set uh, set additional. Get your current channel is your additional channel 270. I'm going to let's say 70s command. I'll set that to right ear only, and I'll swap back to channel one, which it didn't didn't go back. Oh. That's why. All right. Also, let me go over this. 
in order to change your channels on the long range using the numpad, you got to do control whatever. <clears throat> so I'm going to channel one. And let's just say I want channel one to be in both ears. So I'll go to my stereo settings and I'll make sure it's in both ears. Because say channel one's the one I want to hear no matter, or channel one frequency 30 is the one I want to hear over everything. I'll set it in both ears. It's just, you'll learn to mess with that type of stuff as you get, as you do it more often. None of this stuff on the outside does anything, so you don't need to worry about any of that. And also you can click left and move it, uh, click left click and hold it down and move it around. All right, so let's say you want to change some settings around. Uh, you'll hit control, like your key binds, you configure, controls, go to uh, configure add-ons, come to your drop-down, as you see I've already been here once, go to TFAR, and you can change all your short range, how you get to your short, uh, short range channels, your long range channels, uh, your speaking volume, which I'll demonstrate here in a second, uh, which I have set as control tab. Um, you can, uh, cycle between radios right there. Uh, you can automatically set it up for going to what ear and all that. Uh, but these are the big ones that you probably want to make sure you change or need to know where they are. Uh, short range, I believe these are set to my original. I'm not 100% sure. I know, uh, caps lock is your short range transmit, um, default. Uh, I think T is also your short range uh, transmit additional. Um, and then you have your long range and your uh, additional long range transmit buttons. You can also change some settings on add on options, but I would generally stay away from those. They don't, they don't do too much. Uh, I've never messed with any of them. So then you have your uh, different yelling. You hit, you can see in the bottom right corner, it's like as I'm hitting control tab, it's cycling through the different uh, modes. Uh, the little head down with a finger in front, it's a whisper. That's a normal with the speech bubble. That's normal talking. Hand up to the face is yelling. So if people tell you to change your yelling volume or your speaking volume, or change to whisper that's what they're talking about uh, and the reason that is in TFAR is TFAR as far as speaking proximity speaking it um, it simulates real life so like if somebody's on your right you'll hear more on your right than your left and distance matters when you're doing your proximity chat in TFAR um, now what you probably didn't see in the add-ons op the configure add-ons here is your proximity chat is where your uh how do you set your proximity chat so you can just talk to people and not talk to them on the short range your proximity chat is let's go back to team speak and your proximity chat is your capture button whatever you have your push to talk uh, capture button set to that's what your proximity chats uh, button is so if you have it mine's set the mouse button for I like that just this is what I like uh, it comes naturally keybind to zoom out on uh, in Arma so I have I don't have a zoom out button on my mouse so I change that out but um, that's dependent on you that's going to be something that you're one of going to figure out how to set. One of the other issues that a lot of people have, and this runs right into the next issue I wanted to talk about, is a lot of people say that they can't talk to other people or they can't hear other people. If that's the, or it'll be either they can't talk to people or they can hear they can't hear people. So you need to come if you're having those issues. The first thing you need to check is your your capture. See what your capture is. Make sure your devices and all that are good. And uh, if you're having trouble talk, that's if you're having trouble talking to people. So make sure your push to talk is set correctly. Make sure your capture device and mode and all that's set properly. 
if you can't hear anybody, you need to come back here and make sure all this stuff is, make sure your uh, playback mode and playback device are all set up properly. Also, if you join a channel and you're getting what I what I like to call the voice of Cthulhu, like you or the voice of Cthulhu when you're in the server, that means your TFR is not <clears throat> initialized. Initialized, so you need to go back and you need to check uh, the like we went before where people said it wasn't working. Go to add-on options, make sure TFR is enabled. That's basically the same thing. So if you're in game and it's not working. Uh, and you're hearing everybody. Uh, that is a problem with your TFAR initialization. So you need to you need to go back and check uh, this stuff right here. Uh, make sure your plugins are working and all that. Okay, these are a couple uh, errors that I keep seeing people getting. Uh, just that, that I wanted to go over real quick. So that if you get this one, you were kicked off files. Da 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 da. At cup weapons, da, da 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 are not signed by a key accepted by the server. To plan a server, remove listed files, or install additional accepted keys. It just it's, this one's just telling you you're trying to log on to the server with a mod that isn't allowed on the server, and it's right here. You'll see this at cup weapons. What you need to do is go back and find it on the launcher and turn it off. So let me get back to the launcher. So here we are at the launcher and have have it all loaded up. You go down, find that cup weapons. Da, 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 da. Oh, there's cup weapons. Turn it off, and then try and log back onto the server, and you should be good. All right. So one of the other things I see here is the sessions lost. It's not exactly this one, but you'll you'll get some that'll come up, uh, and it'll have a mod. It'll have at whatever a mod here. And it has add-on to the PBO that da, 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 not found. That generally means you need to go back that the mod isn't found. So you need to go back to the launcher. You need to go to your mods. You need to go find that specific mod. And as you see, it's not turned on. And turn the mod on. And then try and relaunch. And then from here, you should be able to get on. All right. And that's it for now. Uh, if you think of anything else, uh, go ahead and drop it in the comment section. Uh, if you think of anything to add, go ahead and drop it in the comment section. If not, you know, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, do it all the normal things that you do. Thank you. Have a great day.